Hello YouTubers, it's just me, Thomas. It's me. Now I'm going to do some movie reviews on some of these movies I just recently saw. I selected them, they're right over there. I'm lying on my bed. You know, I have actually a lot of movies. Got them all like right over there. I probably think this isn't a lot of movies. Well, you're wrong. Check out, like right over there. Got some more DVDs behind each other. Also got some Blu-rays too, right over here. More DVDs behind there. Some Blu-rays mixed with some DVDs right over there. I've done um, two movie reviews. You probably saw my review on Return to Sleepaway Camp, which I have right over here. Also, I did another um, review on Cabin Fever 2, which I have right over here. Unfortunately, that review's not out yet. It's because I'm um, having some like problems with the editing. But I do apologize, but it will come out one day, soon. And what the heck, I'll actually add these right to the mix. Okay, so, we can get started. Okay, the first one I'm going to do is this movie right over here. The Rage Carry 2. It's um, the sequel to um, the um, original Carry. Original Carry was a classic. They also made a remake to Carry, which wasn't all that good. But this one was pretty good. It was pretty good. Um, had one girl from the um, original Carry in it, reprising her role. It was cool to see her back. Um, it's pretty good continuation. Pretty good special effects. Not as good as the um, original Carry, but, um, but it's good for what it is. So uh, I definitely do recommend this movie. Okay, now these are three movies I'm gonna do. It's um these three Scarecrow movies. Scarecrow right over there. Scarecrow Slayer. Scarecrow Gone Wild. Okay, but unlike the Rage Carry 2 right over there, these ones are actually just garbage. I mean that these are garbage. However, Scarecrow, the first one, was a decent movie. It was um I kind of saw it as being like so bad that it was good because of how bad the acting was, how bad the special effects was. But it was kind of enjoyable. It was pretty fun to watch. But these ones on the hand, Scarecrow Slayer. Oh, that one was just so god awful. Not even worth checking out. And this one, Scarecrow Gone Wild, was also pretty bad too. The only thing I actually really like in Scarecrow Gone Wild was that the wrestler Ken Shamrock was in it. He's actually right over there on the back. He plays a coach. But like I said, these two movies are just so bad. Don't. I don't even get those. They're stupid. Okay, and another one I also chose was um, this movie came out last week called 30 Days a Night, Dark Days. It's um, a straight-to-DVD and Blu-ray sequel to 30 Days a Night, which I also have right over there in my collection.